do you, the veteran, have to continue to get treated for a service-connected condition in order to protect that rating? Stick around and I'll explain. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD 89 VA Claims Consulting, United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. I've been getting asked a lot of questions from a previous video I did a little bit over a year and a half ago about do I have to continue to seek treatment for a service-connected condition in order to protect that rating? And the answer is no. There is no VA regulation that requires you to get continuous treatment. Now, I'm not a medical professional or mental health professional, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't or you should. That would be totally up to you. What I'm merely saying is there is no current VA regulation that states you have to continue to go to the doctor or you have to continue to go to the VA hospital and continue to get treatment for their service-connected condition to protect that rating. Now, let's just say you're 50% and you're continuing to try to obtain a higher percentage, whether the, you know, you're trying to go to 60, 70, 80, 90, or even 100%, whatever that max percentage you feel you deserve. It wouldn't be a, a bad idea to show you're receiving treatment for that particular condition because raiders have access to your VA progress notes. I'll say it again. VA raiders have access to your VA progress notes. So if you're continuing to go through and try to obtain service connection or even get an increase, they can go and look at those VA progress notes. Now, it's not a requirement that you have to go to the VA for everything, okay? I'm just saying they have access to those records. You can submit private progress notes showing the same treatment from your private doctor, okay? But again, there is no regulation in the 38 CFR or the M21 reference that requires veterans, hey, we gave you this service connection at 50%, and if you don't continue to get treatment for it, we're going to take it away from you. Uh, no, I never rated a case and did that, okay? I, I never heard of it, and I never rated a case. Now, there are other reasons why veterans get reduced, but it's not basically what we're talking about today. So, again, do you have to continue to receive treatment? No. Now, again, I'm not saying not to. That would be totally up to you. But what I'm merely saying is if you're still trying to go through this process, okay, and there's still some things that you're trying to get service connected for, whether it be an increase, secondary, or even new, and you choose to get treatment at the VA, then there's a record of it, and the VA rating specialist can see it, all right? Now, again, you can submit private evidence from a private doctor, okay, to show treatment that you're getting, symptoms, diagnosis, uh, or whatever, whatever residuals are. But at the end of the day, the VA is not gonna go back and say, oh, you're 100% PNT, it's been five years or 10 years, we're gonna go and see if you're still receiving treatment for it. Doesn't work that way. Now, if the veteran comes in for something else, a new claim, for example, as a Raider, I never would go back and look at every single thing that a veteran service connected for. Maybe some other things, it just depends. Every claim is different. And that's why it's important to get educated. Again, to get educated on this VA claims process and by monthly veteran roundtables. These are some of the things that I'm educating individuals on even with some of my clients, and they are surprised when I show them the 38 CFR as it pertains to this or the M21 reference that VA employees are supposed to use as a guide. They're like, well, wait a minute. That didn't happen in my claim. Well, I heard this or I heard that. Okay? I'm telling you, 
get educated on this process so you can be successful, okay? So if anybody tells you, you have to go out and continue to get treatment for a service-connected condition, and you're no longer seeking service connection or increase or whatever, you're maxed out at whatever percentage you feel that you deserve, have them to show you the regulation that states that, okay? So that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.